guys, how are you all doing? So today I'm doing my top 13 of 2013. Yes, my top 13 books of this year and I tell you, I am, I'm, I'm excited. It took me forever to narrow this down, so please appreciate that it, you know, I've really thought about everything, but I read quite a lot of books that are well known this year, like a lot of the books that I decided to read that had been out for quite a few years that are like well known, like I read the whole Divergent series, I read the rest of uh, The Mortal Instruments, I read all of the Infernal Devices, I read uh, the Gun series, just all stuff like that that I hadn't really gone towards, um, I decided to do it this year. They do go in a sort of order but most of them are all pretty much on the same playing field so here we go. The first book I actually read at school but I really enjoyed it and that was Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. It's a really odd book, it basically follows these men, um, George and Lenny, in the 1930s I believe. Is it 1930s? Yes, I think it is 1930s. After the Wall Street crash, America is in a lot of trouble and these men are trying to find their work and Lenny is someone who doesn't really know a lot of things as in he, he doesn't know how to look after himself or how anything works and the way that <laughs> this book ended oh I cried in lesson we we read it in lesson and I cried it's just so upsetting for that to happen but if you haven't read it it's a piece of sheer brilliance in literature and some people might not like it because of the way it's done but I loved it I personally really loved it so this is my 13 of the top 13 my number 12 I've actually only started reading like I've only got halfway through this book but that is A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin I freaking love it I love it and I have the whole series up there ready for me to read so I'm fully prepared I have loved everything about the book so far it basically is very high fantasy it follows this mythical world I can't explain really because there's so many stories in this one like people's different lives in the one book it, it requires you to read it or go and maybe try and find a really good synopsis somewhere on the internet but this series I know I'm going to freaking love because it's just been incredible so far I absolutely adore it number 11 is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green um as I said this is no proper order it's just I love this book it's not just my number 11 because oh, I didn't enjoy it. No, I loved it and I am actually going to be rereading it again, um, hopefully, so oh, let's hope that goes well and everything goes okay because I really enjoyed this book when I read it the first time um, but I just, I didn't think I got out of it what I should have got out of it and I didn't cry in the way I should have cried so hopefully I'll read it again. Um, I don't want to ruin it for anyone but I've done a book review I think of actually. Have I done? I think I have. Um, basically it's just about these two patients, cancer patients, who meet each other and that's all I'm telling you so you can go and read it yourself if you haven't read it but I'm pretty sure you probably have. <laughs> Number 10 in my list is Shatter Me by Tahiro Mafi. I haven't even read Unravel Me or any of the novellas. How bad is that? I freaking know but I love this book so much. One for Warner god that man and for the whole concept it's very different and the way it's written and the crossing out and the po poetic language it's just awesome and i loved it to pieces if you haven't read this it's basically about a girl called juliet and if she touches you you die that's basically it she has lethal touch she has this power she is in prison and then she gets taken out of prison by warner who wants to use her as a weapon and she doesn't want that so that's basically the whole premise and then it spans on from there so if you want to know more about it go and get the book and read it because you will enjoy it it's very very addictive number nine in my 13 is the history keeper circus maximus um by damien dibbon i loved the first one of this book it's basically about excuse me basically about these people where they can travel in time to save people it's time travel it's time travel and i can't rave about it anymore in the first one's over there storm begins i'm actually going to be doing a book review for the both of these books very soon um because i just don't think that they're known enough they are they need to be more hyped um basically one it's set in a time period that i love and that's like you know like greek roman mythology all that stuff i love that so much and it's just 
I, I was just, I loved it. It was amazing. And you need to read it if you haven't read it. It's, I don't want to tell you much about it. I don't want to tell you much about any of these books, do I? I'm not very helpful. It's amazing. They travel in time. Enough said. The number eight in my 13 is Clockwork Princess. So the infernal devices, basically. Oh, this book series was so good. I loved it so much. It follows the Shadowhunter world, but it follows Tessa Gray, Will Herondale. Oh, Will Herondale. Uh, it was just amazing. It follows Tessa in London, um, in the London Institute, and how everything goes for her in there, and you know the worlds of the Shadowhunter, and and why she's the way she is. Why, <clears throat> why is she a fairy? Is she, no, is she nip? Oh. Oh, is she a shadow hunter? We don't know this stuff, but we do in the end. We find out in the end, and it's awesome. The ending of this book just blew my mind so much. I loved it, and it just really opened my soul for City of Heavenly Fire, and I just cannot, I can't. Number seven is the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. My favourite book in the series is by far Divergent by far um it follows Triss who lives in these factions you know, like you have to pick a faction to live in in this dystopian world and she picks to go and live in Dauntless when she turns 16 and basically it spans from there and she turns out to be divergent which means that she can't be put into one faction she is like multiple factions and the government don't like that. I've actually done a book review of this which I'll link down below so you can go and have a look at that if you want to. I've done a book review for Shatter Me as well so I'll link that down below. Um, amazing. I just, I just, don't, don't talk to me about Legion. Number six in my collection here is The Perks Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I read this this year and oh, I really love this book. The fact that it's so short but so amazing everything so much is jam-packed in this book for the size of it and i just absolutely adored it it is unbelievable it follows this character charlie who is just a young boy and it's basically a coming of age story and it's even better than a coming of age story it's like a coming of your freaking mind story and it it just shows you all of the world basically it just opens your mind up to the world and it's shit oh if you haven't read it I'm judging you read it it's incredible and i loved it so much my number five on the list is oh i read this this year and i just can't still get over it i loved it so much and that is the host by stephanie meyer i have to have the movie cover but i don't actually mind because i actually really loved the movie um but i read this this year and oh my god oh my god i really freaking love this book it was just so good it follows um it's basically alien invasion and they possess the, the human bodies and take over their souls and Melanie gets possessed by Wanderer or Wanda and Wanda is a kind, kind soul. She doesn't want to hurt anyone and when she goes to find Jared, who Melanie loves because Melanie's still alive in Wanderer's head, well in Melanie's body, she's that's really confusing. They go to find Jared and they go to find Jamie, her little brother and when they get there they get like sort of captured and when i say they get there it's because melanie still talks to wanderer even though melanie's not visible as wanderer is it's a bit confusing i'm not i'm not explaining it in the right way but it's awesome and they get captured but she wants to save them and she doesn't want to hurt it and she's getting chased by this woman who wants to take wanderer and she's a seeker and basic basic basically i loved it <laughs> basically i loved it and i loved everything about it so if you haven't read it please read it i know it's by stephanie meyer and that will put some people off because they're like oh that's the woman who wrote twilight yes it is the woman who wrote the amazing series that is twilight so please read it my fourth book is the i'm going to classify it as under this whole like umbrella of the gone series nearly dropped the book then the gone series by michael grant follows these kids um and basically all the adults like above 15 go missing they're under this like dome and all the adults go missing and they get trapped there and it's just these kids and basically a load of shit happens like disease and and crap and war and powers powers like when it turned into the powers i just couldn't deal with myself i absolutely adore this series you want to talk to me about this please do because i love the gun series by michael grant if i could i would personally grab the man and kiss him that sounds a bit weird insane it's such a good series everything is just so valid everything is just so awesome everything has purpose it's 
one of those series that you will read and you will enjoy so please i beg of you read this series you will enjoy it i'm not gonna say you're not gonna because you really will it's it's just so thought provoking and so enticing and i love the characters the characters carry the book so well and he writes his characters so well so that just makes it even better my third book is actually tied into the gun series because my favorite book in that series is plague although quite a few people found this book quite disgusting i love kane and diane's like relationship and <sighs> They are my favourite two characters in the series. Like, I don't like Astrid, I think she's a whiny bitch. But I do like her, I do like her. I'm not going to say she's a whiny bitch, she's not. <laughs> I do like Astrid, but I love their character relationship better than Sam and Astrid, really. Um, so, I loved this one. I thought this one was the one I couldn't put down. I sat there and read straight through. I didn't stop. It was awesome and I loved it to bits. My final two books were really hard to pick because I've loved these books so much but I would say this one is second or they could be joint first but let's say one of the two books is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. I read this this year and let me just tell you guys I I loved it so much. It was it was like the best thing I'd read in such a long time. I love the um, dynamic relationship between Clara and Sebastian. I personally adore it. I love how she writes them and how everything is and even though Jace was not Jace in this book I found that as equally dynamic to have him being as weird and not his normal self and I just I couldn't help but warm to this book. Now if you want to know more about the Mortal Instruments series I did a video I will put the link down below you can go and watch that it's just so amazing and I'm personally just I just I don't want to even I can't even I'm I loved it man so my second book in that joint first place or even you could say is my first place is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey and this has been my favourite book of the year since I read it in the summer it's about once again aliens invading but I, I just love these sort of books and they they come in waves this invasion i did a book review i'll leave it down below so you can go and watch it they come in waves and invade and they kill people through different ways and basically our main character cassiopeia or cassie she is left she's just chilling and a lot of things happen and she meets people and <sighs> I just want an Evan Walker. I really want one. Evan Walker, man. Just that, just that guy. Just that guy. Yes, but the next book comes out next year and I am so excited. I'm, oh, I'm so excited because literally when I read this book and then, and then like I finished it and I turned over the page to see that the next wave begins summer 2014, I threw my book on the floor and I was so pissed so pissed i'm going to read this again this year and i'm very excited about it and I, literally my favorite book of this year without a doubt so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've had a really really good year and it's been a great year for you and i wish you an amazing year next year um remember to smile today be happy be joyful please subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe to my second channel as well olivia cooper um i'll just put the link in the description for my second channel and I love and care for you very much, you're all flawless bitches, and bye!